What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev23 TREV 2323. Subscribe, like, and share. Well, I finally got a little bit of time to squeeze in where I got to wash the car. She looks like them like glass, like a mirror. And that's only with the car wash that I use. It looks like you see reflection in it. You can see me perfectly in the reflection, okay? This is what I use. Mother's California Gold Caranuba Wash and Wax. If you don't have time to wax your car, if you don't have time to wax your car, you should wash it with a wash and wax. Clean shines protect that just wax fill natural wax fortifiers. Okay. One of the reasons why you wash it with wax, especially nowadays, especially this summer, because uh man, see perfect, beautiful like mirror finish. Okay, uh this has been one of the hottest summers on earth one of the hottest summers on earth and if you don't got wax on your car that's how your paint your gloss starts to fade because you don't have wax you don't have anything to protect it i swear by caranuba wax caranuba wax comes from the plants in the rainforest and it's what protects your car it's what protects everything also on your dashboard in there you have to protect that because that sits in the sun the sun shines through there and beats down on that so you have to protect that but right now i'm talking about the outside of the car so you get that just wax look i haven't even waxed it yet that's with the mother's caranuba wash and wax that i've been i wash it with all the time that's what i that's what i use mother's california gold caranuba wash and wax you can just pour it in a bucket like this pour it in a bucket use whatever you use to wash your car this is what i use to wash my car i don't put nothing in this i just dip it and fill that with water put something in there and that's what i wash the whole car with and then i dry the car you dry the car i don't i didn't use a chamois today i actually used just a regular towel today i didn't use a chamois because i couldn't find my chamois but i got kids you figured that out down the road okay so this is what i use inside of here i'm out i gotta pick up some more okay on top of that this is what you should do also this is actually Caranuba Cleaner Wax. Polishes, protects, safe for all clear coats. This is actually what I wanted to do with my boat with. I wanted to do my whole boat with this. Wax is wax is wax is wax. Now, you could pay for that ceramic coating or whatever. You don't have to pay for all that. You pay so, so much money for that. If you do this three times a year, three times a year, wash and wax your car three times a year, but I mean wax it three times a year. Go around with the boat. I do it twice a year. I do it before I put the boat in the water. When I take the boat out the water, I wax it. Because what happens if you get like tar or you get bird dookie, is that bird dookie? Or just with the sun itself that beats on the paint. If you don't have any wax, it's just on the paint, just on the clear coat. If you have wax, there's natural stuff in here that actually protect the plants in the rainforest that protects your car and protects your paint. Now, when I pulled the boat out the water in the last season, the paint wasn't that popping orange anymore it was just orange and i had to actually wax it really good to get it looking brand new and before i put it in my mom said wow that thing looks so beautiful it's shining so much mother's california gold or just a good caranuba wax i think with the boat this year i used a different kind but this is what i normally use on the car is the mother's caranuba gold and it's like whatever you can find but i swear by the mother's brazilian caranuba wax so i'm gonna do this right now and you see the car is looking perfect already but this is how i get the car to shine the mother's wash and wax you can buy a whole package of these for like six bucks you put do little sections at a time that you know you're gonna get a microfiber that you could dust off because it's already dried powder by the time you're doing this but don't let it dry overnight i see people let it dry overnight you don't have to let it dry just dry to a haze and then buff it off let's see what we got here Okay, put that down to my wife and put in my camera on the car okay so all you do is you this this you got to shake up really good you put it on here no oh, it's a little bit too much but you put it on your dauber and then you kind of work it in your dauber right there and then you just little sir you don't gotta press you don't gotta you, you're not trying to beat this stuff in you're just trying to coat the car with this really all you're doing is just trying to get a good nice coat on the car that you can wipe off you don't have to really manhandle this in there you just put a nice coat on and by the time you got your second coat in there it's like glass it fills in all the little dots and crevices and everything i'm in the sun right now it's easy it's actually better if you do it in the shade because it don't dry out as fast but i'm sitting in the sun right now just trying to shoot this video
and like I said, you don't got to beat it in or you don't got to use a polisher or a wax or nothing like that. You just, and if you do section by section, you just do section by section. If you got time, you'll be able to get the whole day. And you see it's coming off already. So I'm going to start going down here. Little by little, like Hurley used to do on Three Stooges. Maybe you're too young to know who the Three Stooges are. <laughs> And like I said, you don't gotta kill it on there. You don't gotta hammer it on there. Just a nice little where it's gonna haze over. That's all you need, a nice little where it's gonna haze over. You see it's starting to haze over right there. But like I said, I'm in the sun right now, so that's why it's doing it. And this will make your car look better than off the showroom floor. Okay, now the stuff that dried over, like it says, you don't have to let it leave it overnight or nothing like that. You get a microfiber when it's dried, and that's all you do. Look at that. Let's try that. It's like glass now, see? That's all you do. You don't gotta have to have ceramic coating or this, that, and the other. That makes it look brand spanking new. You wanna do more than one coat? Go ahead and do more than one coat. But uh, I don't think you need ceramic coating. And actually, if you have ceramic coating, it's not it's still not going to be as easy to get the tar off as you think. If you have a coat of Caranuba on it and you get bird poop or bug tar, it'll be easy to get off because this is just wax. So you should at least minimum, minimum, minimum wax it once a year. Minimum once a year. But uh, at least twice a year. If you want to keep your car looking nice, you could do it once a month. But it just makes it... Look at Can you see that? How beautiful. And you don't need... Like I said, you don't need a buffer or a, a, a orbital waxer or nothing like that. Look at how easy that was. Look at it. You can see yourself. Bam! See yourself in it. And I'm not getting paid by mothers or nothing like this. I just love the way it comes out and I love the way it protects the paint. It keeps it looking better than showroom quality shine. All right. It is so funny even trying to stand my GoPro on the wax car. It's just sliding all over the place. But I was trying to show you how I let me put it in a garbage can. What I do is when I'm waxing the car, and then you wax it like you know two or three times you get the stuff off and then it, the the caranuba is all dry by the time you're buffing it off so basically since it's all dry this is what i do now after i wax it and everything if you got two of these you do one for one side one for the other side you got three one for the middle one for the other end and then you just break up the caranuba because it crusts right off and then you could keep on waxing it but man look at that I'm still taking some more off right there but I'm telling you if you put too much on if you put too much on and it dries on you it's harder to get off be careful when you start waxing your car I do it by hand twice a year it's addictive you walk around with a microfiber towel waxing your wiping it off all the time this is in the shade we are sitting in the shade and the car looks amazing so you can watch what i walked it with uh mother's brazilian care renewable i picked this up on clearance uh eagle one percent application to do the tires you know the tires actually they're washed and they're clean and they look nice but you know a lot of people armor all their tires and armor all, but what i don't like about the overspray of the armor all is it gets all over the rim and everything i was like yeah i just cleaned everything washed everything dried everything so we got these press and pops you're supposed to be able to press them down and pop them i don't want nobody to slip on there i could press it down on the boat trailer i don't mind if we get extra protectant down here they got fluid in them so you press it and then it popped i heard it pop so there 
see there's a the fluid in there dampen it up and that's enough to get on your tires it might not be the mirror gloss but i prefer this to just nice black sheen yeah it actually does pretty good you don't have to press anymore because there's so much on there from when i pressed it This one's gonna need to be replaced. I already did the other back tire, but you see some dry rot in this one right here, so. I won't pull the car around front so you can see everything, but that is way better than having overspray all over the press place. And you know what? These right here, I was actually gonna put it in a styrofoam, not styrofoam, uh, like a Tupperware container it could fit in. So you see, the bad thing is it's just dripping all over the place. So I will use the Eagle One Tire Cleaner again since that's on here. Oh man, I got some on my rim. But I'm going to put this in a Tupperware container so it don't evaporate. Because I feel like, like with I got the tire machines and when I uh, leave my tire lube in those tire... Look at you hear it, it's like dripping out of here. Maybe that's why they were on clearance because people weren't buying them because they waste so much of it. Beware, waxing your car may become addictive. Look at that. Like glass, the whole thing. I wish I could get a good sunlight shot. The sun's already setting. It's like mirror, like glass. Got the tires done everything the truth now to tell you the truth when you're in complete sun you see the little spaces you missed to completely wax i did the glass i did the caranuba wash i did the caranuba wax so it really protects it from the sun i did the tires i did the rims but i got a microfiber that i'm going to carry with me a clean one so if i catch some spaces that i miss i'm going to go ahead and get on those but it's like better than the factory better than when you get it from the factory sorry my alley reminded me of jimmy hendrix crosstown traffic Woo! but either way there you go completely washed and waxed took about two hours to hand wax it carry a microfiber cloth see the little pieces that you missed you carry those with the microfiber cloth and also in the trunk believe it or not to keep that shine if you want to keep the shine and it's not going to rain when you come out before you leave out come out before your lady if you have a lady and i always carry my chairs with me everywhere i go but uh it's called a california car duster doesn't rain in california so you get a lot of dust on your cars and all you do is dust off your car with the california car duster and it, when it gets the dust off your car shines just like you just waxed. All right, talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.